Imagine a fighter jet so advanced it can outclimb, outturn, and outlast its rivals, all thanks to a brand new engine developed by Rolls Royce. This isn't a scene from Top Gun. This is happening right now with Sweden's next generation Gripen E slash F. Today, we're diving into the shocking truth about the Gripen's engine upgrade, how Rolls Royce is stepping in, why this could shift the global fighter jet balance, and what it means for countries thinking about buying new jets. So, strap in, because what we're about to reveal might just change how you see air combat forever. To understand the impact of this new engine, we need to talk about the Gripen itself. Saab's Gripen has always been the underdog fighter. Small, cheap to operate, yet packing incredible technology. The current Gripen E slash F uses the General Electric F414G engine, producing around 22,000 pounds of thrust. This gives the Gripen its famous agility, short takeoff and landing ability, and low operating cost, around $4,700 per flight hour, compared to nearly $35,000 for the F-35. But there has always been one criticism. The Gripen's engine power is good, but not overwhelming. In a world where F-35s, Rafals, and Su-57s are getting more powerful, Saab needed something extra to future-proof the Gripen. Enter Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce, known for building engines for everything from airliners to the Eurofighter Typhoon, has quietly been working on a next-generation fighter engine design. Sources suggest this engine is based on Rolls-Royce's advanced combat engine core, with increased temperature tolerance, adaptive fan technology, and 15% higher thrust than the current F414. If these numbers are accurate, we're talking about 26,000 pounds of thrust in a single engine fighter, giving the Gripen near super cruise ability, better climb rate, and most importantly, more power for future systems like directed energy weapons, advanced radar, and electronic warfare pods. Sweden is no stranger to defense innovation. They've built fighters that can take off from highways, survive in a contested environment, and carry NATO standard weapons, all while remaining neutral for decades. But with Russia's war in Ukraine, Sweden is joining NATO. And that means it needs to ensure its Gripen fleet is competitive with F-35s flying across Europe. More thrust doesn't just mean better dogfighting. It means longer range, higher payload, and better ability to perform in Arctic conditions, where Sweden may face future threats. This move also reduces dependence on the US, giving Sweden more engine sovereignty. If the Gripen adopts a Rolls-Royce engine, Sweden can secure parts even during a crisis, something that can't always be guaranteed with U.S. export controls. So what makes this engine special? Here's what we know. Adaptive cycle design. This allows the engine to shift between high thrust mode and fuel-efficient cruise mode automatically. Ceramic Matrix Composites These materials let the engine run hotter without melting, producing more power with the same size engine. Electrical Power Output Rolls-Royce claims the engine can generate double the electrical power compared to legacy designs, perfect for AESA radars and EW jammers. Lower Infrared Signature a redesigned nozzle could make the Gripen harder to spot with heat-seeking missiles. This engine upgrade isn't just about Sweden. It could make the Gripen way more attractive to export customers. If India wants to fill its MRFA fighter requirement with a non-US option, a more powerful Gripen could suddenly be back in the race. Brazil 
Brazil already operates the Gripen E. They could upgrade to this engine and boost their air force's strike reach deep into the Amazon region. Thailand, Philippines, Colombia? Countries looking for affordable fighters that still pack a punch might now reconsider Gripen over F-16 Block 70 or KAI F-A-50. This could shift billions in fighter jet contracts away from Lockheed Martin and Dassault, and that's why many in the defense world are paying close attention. But let's be clear, this isn't a done deal. Developing a new fighter engine is expensive and time-consuming. Rolls-Royce would need Sweden's defense ministry to commit funding, and Saab would have to redesign parts of the Gripen to accommodate the new power plant. Critics also warn that adding a new engine could raise the Gripen's price, potentially erasing one of its biggest advantages, affordability. And then there's politics. Would the US try to pressure Sweden to stick with GE engines to maintain interoperability? These are questions we'll have to watch closely. If Rolls-Royce succeeds, this could kick off a new engine race worldwide. Imagine upgraded F-16, KF-21 Borame, and even drones getting similar adaptive engines, making them faster, stronger, and cheaper to operate. It also raises an interesting possibility, Gripen becoming a loyal wingman platform for Europe's sixth-generation fighter, the Tempest. Saab could easily turn the Gripen into a bridge between 4.5 generation fighters and the future stealth jets. So, is the Gripen about to become the most powerful lightweight fighter in the world? If Rolls Royce delivers this engine, it just might. What do you think? Should Sweden stick with proven American engines or go all in on a homegrown Rolls Royce powerhouse? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you love deep dives into military tech, hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next big breakdown of the future of air combat. Thanks for watching. See you in the skies.